A chance now to turn to a competition that in 1992 in Albeville, France will make its debut as a full Olympic sport. Short track speed skating is exciting, fast and furious, with the champions always running it close with victory or disqualification. We're going to look at both the men and women's world championships held in Sydney, Australia for the first time in March and joining me, Britain's Wilf O'Reilly who had his own part to play in these championships. Let's turn first to the women's event, Wilf, like the men over four distances to find the champion. And here you can see there, just in the picture, Sylvie Daigle, five times world champion. The skates, very much different from long track skates. <laughs> Made of fiberglass, skates very much offset to the left-hand side as the skaters all go around in an anti-clockwise direction. And the track here, 111 metres. The distances for the men and the women, 1,500, 500, 1,000 metres and 3,000 metres. The competition spread over three days. This is the final of the 1500 metres, 13 and a half circuits. And the competitors, Natalie Lambert of Canada, Sylvie Daigle of Canada, Maria Rosa Candido of Italy, Yulia Alagulova of the Soviet Union, Hongru Guo of China, and Kathy Turner of the United States. The start, all important. Skaters just waiting to come in the starters' orders as the tension builds. And a good clean start, and after the sudden rush for the ice, Wilf, they've slowed right down. Yes, uh, 1500, very much a tactical race in the early parts of the stage, in the early stage of the race. As you can see, everybody just jockeying for positions, trying to make sure that when the sudden attack comes, that they're in the right position. Sylvia Daigle has the lead, multi-world champion. You can pick her out with those white knee bands on. In second place, Maria Rosa Candido of Italy, world record holder at 3,000 metres, so she particularly enjoys the longer distances. In third place there, Kathy Turner of the United States. Now, tactics will play a major part in this type of mass start skating, don't they? Certainly do, we can see there, Natalie Lombard just attacking on the outside. Again, pace not too hot just yet, but skaters jockeying very much for position. And there we can see a bump there by the Chinese girl. Well, that's a Guo, and she gave a little smile as she went through, but she was running it very close to a possible disqualification for that. Sylvie taking the race on very well. Tries to put her dominance on all the girl skaters. So Sylvie Daigle, world champion from Canada, in the lead in those white knee bands. And joining her at the front now, Natalie Lambert. Obviously, the two Canadian girls won't be, um, Natalie Lambert won't be out to harm one another there. Kathy Turner attacking on the outside. Very cumbersome skater. And Maria Candido there of Italy just pushing on the outside there. Again, coming inside. Maria Candido, fourth skater. And Nat Lambert starts to heat the pace up. Five laps to go. So it's Lambert and Daigle, the two Canadians here, trying to work a one-two over the rest of the world in this 1,500-metre race for the gold medal. Turner's gone on that bend, slid right out of it and gone to her chances as it leaves out in the front now. Sylvia Daigle being chased by her teammate Natalie Lambert. They're both turning the pressure on now and going clear. Three laps ago there, you saw Sylvia Daigle just glance behind her. She knows Nat Lambert's there. It's probably Natalie's best distance. Two laps to go. The two Canadian girls being chased now by Candido of Italy and she's coming at them very, very quickly indeed. But we've got Lambert and Daigle at the belt almost together now. And Lambert there just attacking the outside, trying her best and Sylvie's really holding her off. And Lambert just makes it to the front and crosses the line first. In second place, Sylvie Daigle and I think third place was Maria Rosa Candido. Well, the two Canadian girls did everything absolutely spot on there. And the victory, let's have a look at the running again here, Wilf, because they were, it was anybody's race at this bend. Well, it certainly was. Natalie came off that bend so strong. Just managed to get in, in front of Sylvie, the left shoulder there, coming off that bend. Half a lap to go at this point. And there you see she's just managed to get in front of Sylvie Daigle, five times world champion, comes up to the line. And I think that the hand said it all, Phil. 
So victory then for Natalie Lambert of Canada, beating her teammate Sylvia Daigle. Gold and silver to Canada. And the points on the right, 5-3-2-1, they go towards the overall champion of the women's competition. The winner always getting five for each of the four distances, down to one for fourth place. Well, let's move on to the 500 metres, four and a half laps. We're looking at the blue skin suit there of Monique Velzeboer of Holland, the only Dutch girl who's come through into the final. And she faces in the final three Chinese girls. They've been coming through the sport, both outdoor and indoor, these last couple of years. Remember that we go to Alberville uh, next year uh, when they could really be a top challenge for the medals. We have Yamie Zhang of China, Hongru Guo of China, and Zuli Wang of China. And also in this event, Sylvia Daigle, who we've just seen from Canada, take that silver medal. The start in the 500, all important. Monique was advanced to the final, so five in the final 500 metres. Crucial start, this. Three Chinese girls, Will, tactics must come into this. Well, it's 500, Phil. It's going to be difficult. Well, there's a false start and clearly very nervous, Sylvia Daigle. She wants to be off the marks, better than the three Chinese girls. Now, she's had one false start, Will, the next one. I think that will cause her problems, Phil, because if she has another one, she won't be able to uh, continue in this race. So obviously she'll have to wait now for the gun. And and, the... Yeah, another one. And this time it was Zuli Wang, who is also an outdoor skater of repute, who has made a false start. So a lot of tension. Very typical of the 500 metres. The start crucial. This time a good clean start indeed. And Zhang there clearly ahead. Velzebor in second place. And Sylvie Daigle struggling at the back. <laughs> Unusual position for her, but Jiang is really steaming ahead with this race. Tremendous start now by Julie Jiang. Yami Jiang, rather, as she goes clear now. Fingers on the ice just to maintain the balance. But it's Velzebo who's taking her on and coming back at her. The Dutch girl who's closing the gap very, very quickly indeed. And there's been a tumble at the back. And I think, in fact, Sylvie Daigle caused that as she shot off the ice. And at the bell now, only two skaters in it. Two laps to go. Velzebor really attacking as a glance back. Julie Zhang there knows she's won the World Championship 500 metres. Crosses the line in a superb time, 46.83 unofficially. So China takes the gold medal over the 500 metre distance. Yang Yi Zhang. And look at this now. Watch the left of your screen there. There's a little, a, a little mix-up, and I think indeed it's Sylvia Daigle who caused the other two Chinese girls to go off the ice. Very bad skating by Sylvie. Got herself into a lot of trouble. And there is confirmation. In fact, Sylvie Daigle disqualified, and the points going to Zhang, Velzebo, Guo, and Wang with Zhang, the 500 metres women's world champion. The points, as I say, going towards the cumulative for the overall champion with two distances still to come. So the Chinese are threatening. Here is Sylvie Daigle, a little bit downhearted after that disqualification, which came after finishing second in the first event. Now she faces up to the nine laps of the 1,000 metres. She's in the final here as well, Will. Well, Sylvie, having made two distances, obviously will be very disappointed not to be well up there on the points and the overall. In this race, as you can see, Sylvie Daigle on the inside, Monique Velzebor second in the blue, Natalie Lambert on the outside of Canada, and Hongru Gru. Well, Lambert is already a gold medalist here in the 1500 metres. Daigle is second in that. Again, 1000 metres, very tactical in the beginning. Skaters jockeying for that crucial position for when the break's on. Daigle always likes, it appears to me, we'll have to take the lead. That's right, Phil. She likes to put a dominance over the other skaters. She has been five times world champion, and she wants to try and regain that title here in Australia. Well, I can tell you, it may be a bit chilly on the ice here indoors, but the temperatures are soaring through the roof outside. And as Wilf was telling me earlier, the problem that some of the skaters have is, in fact, keeping out of the sun and because of the way it seems to sap their strength. But this is the 1,000 metres, the third event in the women's. Race towards the overall champion, Silva de Sylvie Daigle of Canada leading. And a challenge coming from Natalie Lambert. And she's trying to get over the top there of Guo of China. Shoulder to shoulder, and she takes the lead. Lambert in front, Guo second, Daigle third, Velzebo at the back at the moment. Five to go. 
Lambert, typical style of her race, leading the race out quickly. Skaters not liking this, the ice is a little bit soft, you can see the water just reflecting off the ice. Skaters attacking Daigle, moving up into second place. So a possibility here, Wilf, of a repeat of the earlier 1500, because we've got Lambert and Daigle now, the two Canadian girls holding off first and second, with Velzeboer and Wo trying to get on terms here. And Daigle doesn't look at all happy with two laps to go. Lambert skating a very tight line, making it very difficult for Sylvie to pass in second place. So at the bell, Lambert in the lead. Daigle gets to the inside and takes it very smoothly indeed, and she almost goes down as well. And that was superb skating by Sylvie, and it's important that Nat Lambert holds off Guo. Oh, and it'll be very close to see for second place. Sil Sylvie Daigle there, first at the 1,000 metres, and there we have Nat Lambert. Not sure if he was second or first. Well, we'll have to wait for the result. There's no doubt about the winner, though. That superb piece of overtaking by Sylvie Daigle. Let's have a look at that again. As she comes through on the inside, the determination written on her face. A little bit of revenge over her teammate here for the 1500 result. And let's just see who goes over the line in second place. No doubt about the winner on the right here. And it was close. Now, Wilf, what exactly decides the result? The blade. The blade has to cross the line. With athletics, it's, very, it's the chest. But there's confirmation of it. Natalie Lambert was second in that 1,000 metres, and Guo of China, third. In fourth place, Monique Velzebor gaining one point to go into the final event, the 3,000 metres. So, Canada are beginning to look rather good in this World Championships. Here's the standing after three distances now. They hold first and second places. Daigle and Lambert now have a gold medal apiece. We'll be back soon. <laughs>